here on my YouTube channel, I have taught you guys how to start up or what you need to start up a photography studio. Um, I spoke about lighting, I spoke about cameras, I spoke about lenses, I even did talk about the triggers when someone said I didn't talk about triggers, but I did. Right, so in today's video, we're going to shoot a fashion editorial or a fashion shoot under a budget in the studio using all the things I have mentioned. So it's more like a continuation video. So I'm here using my Canon 6D, my rusty Canon 6D, the 100mm f2.8 lens, um, my V860 Mark II speed light flash, which I have spoke a lot about, and also a 120 deep octal parabolic. And in this video, I'll be using a canvas backdrop, which I got from Pixel Junkies. This goes for 350 Ghana CD. So yeah, they are the proud sponsors of this particular canvas backdrop. It kind of complements the outfit she's wearing and her skin. So it's more like orange skin and teal, but it's textured. So yeah, that's what canvas backdrop is all about. I will be also using my polyboard just to fill in the lights coming in from just my one light. So if you have been with me on my journey shooting with one light a lot, I have a video on um, one light, four lighting techniques, and yeah, one light, one octa box, four lighting techniques. So I think I'm going to use one of those techniques in this particular video today. So yeah, this goes for 350 Ghana CDs. Um, try and get one yourself. So let me just quickly take a first test shot. Right, let's see here, yeah, the flash is working, it's to her side. I'm going to implement the feathering technique too. I have angled it this way so that the light travels right from the top to the down. I'm just going to get a little light fall off on the background. Can you take a step to my right? Not too far, that's fine. A little, yeah, great. So I'm going to turn off the flash. Currently I'm at F4 ISO 100, shutter speed 1 over 160. Just to show you guys what the ambient light is doing. In my frame this is what the ambient light is doing i really don't think it's affecting it enough so i'm fine i'll turn on my flash which is currently at one over four plus 0.3 another test shot i don't think it went off so did it go off it didn't okay let me see What's happening? What's happening? There we go. I think I have an issue with my horseshoe. I see these horseshoes messing up. You know things happen on set. Right, so it's no news. I have an issue with him. Right. Okay, so this is our test shot chin down. Chin down. Yeah, okay. And there we have our test shot with the speed light. So don't worry, when you're on set, just don't show that um, kind of worrisome look on your face, which I think I didn't. Did I? Did I? Leave, let me know down in the comment section below. Right, I like what I am seeing. I really love it. I don't know if you guys can see it. But then again, I'm still going, I'll, I'll still show it on the screen, so don't worry. The one light is hitting it from the angle line I, I want. Highlighting the outfit, highlighting her face, highlighting whatever style. Oh yeah, I, I forgot to mention the styling was done by her. Right, so I think I'll introduce in the poly board. Let's see what the poly board has. Can you hold this for me? Let me just... This shouldn't be what I used to hold my poly board. I just need to try and get something, right? But I don't have anything at the moment, so I'm just using this as a helper for my poly board so that it doesn't fall off and bring it quite closer to our subject. What it's going to do is just bounce the lights back to where I need it. Did you move? Right, can you take a little step back? A little. Great. And move a little bit to my right. That's fine. So, and if I show you the difference between what I shot earlier and what I shot with the poly board, you can see that bounce of light back onto our subject. And I like what I'm seeing. What do you think? Yeah, so, yeah, the background makes sense. 
here. So now I'm just going to take a couple more pictures. I'm not really going to take long in this video. Um, not really so that just so that I don't have a lot of pictures and I have to look off, look at what I need to edit and what I don't need to edit. It has to be really quick, really fast. I need to take a little step towards my right. Yeah, great. So turn down more. Lovely. Perfect. Open your lips. Look towards the light. This light here. Yeah. This here. Yeah. Too much. Bring it back a little bit. Yeah, okay. And bring your eyeballs here. Yeah. Turn it towards the video guy. Yeah, great. Turn up. Yes. Let's see. Great. You can look on me now. Lovely. Can I have your hand? You great. Lovely. I like that. Open it up a little bit. Your yeah, both hands. So one here. Yeah. Bring the left one up a little bit. Not, not to your side. To your, yeah. Relax the fingers. Yeah. You can look away. I like that. You can also bring the hand up, just like what you were doing earlier. Yeah, I like what you're doing with that. Yeah. Beautiful. Let's do the initial one when I was testing the lights with the hand there and the hand on the top too. Okay. So with that, you can look away and add some oomph to, oomph to the body. Don't worry, that's fine. Great. Yeah. So we'll do one with you looking at me that way. We can do one without you looking at me to the side. Look away. Yeah, great. I like that. Let's look towards the light. Yeah. Look, look towards the bounce card. Yeah. Let's keep that and see how it looks like. Well, let, let's let me have you to your side. Turn towards. Okay. Or let, let's turn to away from the light. Keep turning. You keep looking at this. This is. That's fine. That's fine. I take a little step towards. Okay. Bring your body. No, 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 don't come towards me. Go in a little bit. Right. I want not too far. Great. That's fine. Just stay there. Yo, great. Right. I like that. Yeah, you can yes. keep that. You can look towards the light now. Yeah, I like that. Your eyeballs don't let it. Yeah. Bring it down. Yeah, but look towards where the video guys. Okay, keep that. Yeah, I like this one too. Bring your left hand. Left. Yeah. Bring it forward. Put it on your tummy. Relax it. Like you're actually trying to hold your tummy. Not this way. Not this way. Like this. Like your couch. Yeah, that's fine. And the right hand bending, going back. Then bring in a little of your left shoulder here. That's fine. Let me get in closer. A big smile. Let's do some smile. Some laughing, looking, looking away. Yeah. So you keep that. I clap out loud with your what is this? I like that. Okay, I think I'm in love with what I'm seeing. I like the straight faces. I like the side poses. I like the on head poses and looking away. And that's it. I mean, that's how easy you can go about. That's how easy you can go about shooting fashion in the studio with one light and a bounce card. I got this in Accra for 50 Ghana cities. I'm not sure 
the one twenty deep costs more than um, six hundred Ghana. Yes, I know it's six hundred Ghana cities. The speed lights, the V860 Mark II, goes for somewhere around nine hundred and fifty Ghana cities. A used six D costs roughly three thousand Ghana cities. Forget a hundred. If I had a fifty millimeter, that's somewhere around five hundred Ghana cities. The X two T trigger, not more than two hundred and fifty Ghana cities. And the backdrop is for 200, 350 Ghana cities. So see how under budget we are when you're shooting in a studio with fashion. So you don't really need too much of a gear to shoot in the studio when it comes to an editorial. I'm not sure the outfit costs enough, the scarf costs enough, paying the model probably won't cost enough. Or probably we might be shooting for a brand or something. So yeah, that's that's definitely it. So that's how you get to shoot one light fashion editorial in the studio under budget. Thank you for joining on today's video. Don't forget to subscribe as usual to the channel. Don't forget to turn on the bell notification icon. Leave me a thumbs up. Go check it out. I'll leave her handle down in the description. I don't know why she hasn't changed her page from private to public. <laughs> I couldn't convince her the last time. So I don't know. You guys should just comment, like, go and follow her page so that she changes it from change it. private to if public. I get enough followers, I will. That's blackmailing. <laughs> That's fine. So yeah, thank you, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.